Hello everyone and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make it so that you can upload images to your model and then view those images. And we're going to be using active storage in this video. So the first thing I'm going to do is stop the server and run a rails active storage colon install. I already have it installed in this project, but I'm just going to run the command anyway, and you should too. Then run a rails db migrate and active storage will successfully have been installed and we can get on to the next part. So make sure to run these two commands, otherwise the tutorial won't work. Okay, so now I'm gonna start the server again, and while it's starting, and I'm just gonna show you the basics of this app. So I click on upload, and I can upload a resource which has a URL and a title. So I'm just gonna say skill builder, create resource, and it shows us this, but I wanna make it so that it shows us an image as well. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go to my app models, resource.rb and I'm going to make it so that it has one underscore attached image. This is so that we can upload images and it just tells Rails that we can actually upload an image. Next, we have to go to controllers and we'll go to the resources controller. So this will just be your models controller and scroll down to where it says resource params and we have to configure it so that image is actually in the resource param, so type a comma, and then specify image. So now we're telling it so that it can actually take in images. And now all we need to do is go to the form, so resources form, and I'm just gonna copy this, get rid of input field because we don't want that, get rid of the label, make it a file field, give it an image. So the first thing that we did was we made it so that it has one attached image. Then we made it so that the image could actually be submitted in the params. And then finally in the form, we made it so that on the view side, you could actually submit the image. So let's go to our upload. And as you can see, there's a new file field. And I'm just going to click on it and it brings up the file explorer. I'm just going to click on open. It displays the name of the file. And then I'll click on URL and this random create resource. And as you can see, it created the resource. But why isn't the image showing up? Well, it's not showing up because we haven't actually configured it to show up. So all we have to do is co come over here, give it another P, and then go to here and do resource. I will just say resource.image and we'll see what happens. It won't work. And as you can see, it gives us this sort of memory pointer to where the image is actually located in memory. But what we need to do is type image tag brackets or parentheses and then we have to specify the style and the width and the height so style colon coats height and then we'll just leave it at that and now oops and we're getting an error so what i'm going to do is just type an if statement if resource dot image dot attached just to make sure that it's actually there then we can image tag and it's still not working. So I just tried it again and as you can see, it is actually showing up. If we go to here, it does actually show up. So the image does actually show up. So I'll just recap on how we did that. The first thing that we did was we made it so that it has one attached image so that we could actually submit an image with it on the, on the model. Then we made it so that in the params, which is what Rails is expecting the form to submit, we added the image. Then we made it so that in the form, we could actually submit the image. And then we made it so that when we've created the resource, we can actually view the image by saying image tag resource.image. So thank you for watching. This is, that's the end of this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to make this drag and drop so that we can drag and drop pictures. 